COVID-19 testing has officially been moved from Lot J to inside the old Sears building at Regency Square Mall. We sent News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno out to the site today to lay out exactly where you need to go and what you need to expect when you arrive. With the drive up testing available and now walk up testing available here at the Regency Square Mall, it can be a little confusing as to where to go or even what to expect. So we figured the best way to explain it to you is to get tested ourselves. The entrance to get tested is behind the old Sears, but don't worry if you come in from a different entrance. Just look for the giant COVID-19 testing signs. If you made an appointment beforehand, you'll be directed to either walk in or drive up to the location. We didn't have an appointment and were told to pick what we wanted. Both locations are free, both conduct nasal swabs and no antibody testing, but we were told the drive through tends to be quicker. From there, you'll be designated to one of these lanes to get registered. This is when we stop filming the area to protect people's privacy. Once you're checked in and show a government issued ID, you're sent to the testing site. So my photographer Chris and I are both going to get tested and turns out that they're actually implementing the self testing today. Neither of us have symptoms, so we're going to go do it ourselves. A minute later, it's our turn. You're going to go up the right nostril, do the same thing. As far as you can tolerate, twirl it 15 seconds. After that, take it out and you're going to put it in your vial, twist the top tight and put it in your bag. OK, easy peasy. Yeah, you say that. Less than a minute later. That was not hard. I know, right? That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Now, if doing it yourself is not for you. And off of Regency Boulevard North next to the Home Depot, another COVID-19 testing site has popped up. This white tent, it's also free. The only difference is you're going to have to walk up and the test is going to be administered by a healthcare professional. Just remember, if you do it to yourself, you get to control how much you can tolerate. Switch over to the right side. Very good. You're doing good. Now, after our test was done, we were told we're going to get our results in the next three to five days. But overall, the test is not as scary as it sounds. I definitely think it was a lot easier than the flu test I got earlier this year. But again, you have the decision whether you want a healthcare professional to do it or to administer it yourself. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.